Okay, so I've been experimenting with the Orange Pi 5B, and this pretty much applies to the Orange Pi 5. This side tends to boot from USB fine. Uh, there's a NVMe drive, I've got a USB stick, and I've got a USB SATA adapter for use with a two and a half inch SSD drive. But this side doesn't work. So I've got a couple of USB SATA adapters. I've got another USB SATA one here and fast USB sticks tend not to work either. And in the end, both of these uh, look almost the same, obviously a slightly different color. Uh, I've written mass on one of these for mass storage device because the slower protocol mass storage device boots, but the faster UASP devices don't. Now on the Raspberry Pi 4, UASP provided much faster operating systems, but let's just show you what happened. So uh, if I plug this drive in with this SATA adapter, which is almost identical, came in a Dynamode Caddy like this one. I've just found another UASP cable, which is there. Uh, and also I've got a Ugreen one, but I can't find it at the moment. So let's just switch on and have a look. So you can see the watch comes on but uh, it doesn't tend to go up and it doesn't light up my monitor. But if I try exactly the same thing with the mass storage one, and it's a bit weird that this is a mass storage device. Uh, when I ordered it, I thought it was gonna be the same as this. So I plugged it in, switch on, and quite quickly after switching on, it will start to boot up and the blue lights come on on my monitor and it's booting into the operating system. And this is Linux and this is Ubuntu. And this is one of Munker's custom versions from the Armoury. Uh, if I go into terminal and type in lsusb-t, it will tell me class equals mass storage. So let's shut that down and try another device. So if I unplug this and plug in just this USB stick, and I'm plugging it in the top one, the top one is USB 3, the bottom one is USB 2, even though both sockets are blue to indicate USB 3. Need to use the top one for better speeds. So switch on. And the light's gone blue to indicate the operating system is starting up. So same operating system, and if we open a terminal and put that same command in, you can see that mass storage comes up again, exactly the same. So let's shut that down and plug in my Oroco NVMe USB device. Uh, obviously it can be a lot neater than this, but I'm often changing the drives around, so I often leave it open. So let's plug that into USB 3. Uh, it comes with this little metal surround, which is really nice. And it's also got a clip design, so it's really, really easy to use. You don't even need a screw to attach the drive. So let's switch that on. So same again for the NVMe drive, and we can see that it comes up as mass storage. So let's switch NVMe drives and take this one out and pop this little tiny one in and switch on. And this is Nico D's Ambien from a recent video I've done. So you can see it boots up fine. We know it's gonna be mass storage because it's the reader that reports as mass storage, obviously not the NVMe drive. So let's shut that down and try the third NVMe drive. And on this third NVMe drive, we have KDE Plasma, and this is the one you download from the official Orange Pi site. And I'm gonna speed test this. So recently I installed Raspberry Pi Diagnostics to do a speed test in this video. So there'll be a link in the description somewhere. So this one, so let's try copying all this in. Okay, so to be fair, it was still nice and quick. I usually pick the one with the best random read speed, so let's save that. Create a little document on the desktop. And save that. And while I'm still on the Orange Pi 5B, Let's just show you the other drives that don't work. Definitely need to change this theme in KDE Plasma. So this one hasn't booted, and nor does this one, and you get the same result with this one as well. So now I'm using the Orange Pi 5, which I can directly plug the NVMe drive into, 
and switch on. Okay, so that didn't work. So I've now booted from an SD card. I've still got the NVMe drive in there, um, but I'm gonna update the bootloader. Okay, so uh, let's type in Ambien, Ambien config. What was it? System, install to update bootloader, install update the bootloader, and yes. Okay, so that's finished. Need to shut that down. I can switch off, take out the SD card with my little stick, and then switch it on again, and hopefully it will boot. Yeah, it's booting up. Now you shouldn't get all these problems if you're not switching between different devices. It's only because I've got two Orange Pi 5s, and I will have an Orange Pi 5 Plus soon as well. Um, but uh, it looks like that bootloader does fix it when switching between devices. So let's open a terminal. And let's copy the last bit of that line in. And let it do three speed tests. Should be lovely and fast. That would, if anything, that seems slower than the other version, but we'll see. So let's go with random read speed, 21,195. The random write speed and the random read speed are far, far better. So this is the fastest. Just call it NVMe slot. So that's definitely going to help. Now, if I put in LSUSB-T, because it's mounted on there, I don't know which one to look for, because it doesn't say mass storage or UASB, but obviously it is performing fast. Now let's just have a look for one of my speed test videos and see if we've had faster results on a Raspberry Pi with UASP. So I'm going to try and find, yeah, this one with the Kingston and the Crucial drive in it. Let's have a look. So even with the mass storage, we've got faster results on sequential write speed on the Oroco. Random write speed 12,000, 17,000. Random read speed 12,000, 21,000. So even with the mass storage, it's still considerably faster than the Raspberry Pi. Uh, yes, this is an SSD, but it is using UASP. Now I did have an NVMe drive in my Pi. See if I can find that. Uh, here we go. What were the results on that one? So 324,435, 376, three, yeah, so sequential is faster. Random write speed was faster on the Pi than the mass storage device, so it's definitely holding it back, uh, but it was slower on the random read speed, and you can see that the NVMe in the slot is definitely faster. Okay, so the plan was to put that KDE Plasma build on the EMMC drive, but I can't get it to work. I can't get it to work in the Pi 5B. Uh, it works fine on an SD card and also an NVMe drive in the Pi 5. And I think I downloaded it from the Pi 5 part of the download section, not the Pi 5B. So I've put Ubuntu on the EMMC drive. And we're going to do a speed test between the NVMe drive and the EMMC to see how well that comes out. But uh, I'm going to do that in the next video. So give me your prediction on what sort of speed or which one's going to be faster. But uh, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.